everyone, this is Jessly from Property Lean Brothers. Today we are in District 23. This is in Bukit Batok. We are at a mixed development called La Quest. We have a two bed, two bath, 700 square feet to show you. This is beautifully done up in a modern monochrome design. Follow me and let's find out more. Let's go. So La Quest is a mixed development. It has a total of 516 residential units together with 30 over commercial units right at our doorstep. This one TOP in 2020, the lease started from 2016, which means that you have a very healthy balance of 91 over the years. La Quest is being built by Qingjian Realty. So if you're a heavy home hunter, you will know that Qingjian has done a lot of projects in the recent years and their quality is really top notch. So out of the 516 units it made up of studio all the way to four bathers, there is a total of five towers and the maximum height is on level 16. If you are someone who is looking for a two bather in La Quest, there are three types of two bather here. You have the 600 square feet, 700 square feet, followed by the 800 square feet. If you are looking for a two bed one bath, then they will belong to a 600 over square feet. If you are looking for a compact two bed two bath, they are about 700 square feet. If you see those that are over 800 square feet, likely because they belong to the top level, which means that it comes with a loft. So if you are someone looking for a high ceiling, I think that would be your preference. But if not, if you are looking for a two bed two bath, let's break down the two different layout that you can find in La Quest. You have the 700 square feet which is where I'm standing on and we have the 710 square feet. So you may ask me, Jessie, where is this additional 10 square feet? Actually it's not about the additional 10 square feet, it would be the overall layout. Because for this layout that we are at 700 over square feet, it comes with an enclosed kitchen. Whereas for a 710 square feet, it comes with an open concept kitchen. But for rarity wise, because nowadays if you notice like new launches, for two bather, they all always come with an open concept kitchen. So if you are looking for something that's enclosed, I think it's really rare to find. So just to deep dive a bit on the floor plan here, 700 square feet, it features your combined living dining together with your balcony. It comes with an enclosed kitchen, your foyer, two bed, two bath. This project was newly TOP in year 2020. The owner spent about 50,000 in terms of the renovation, changing this whole team into like a modern monochrome team. I would say like this is the perfect bachelor's pet if you are a single. But if you are a couple or with two kids, not to worry because they have already converted one of the bedroom into like a bunk bed, which you will see later. I think one of the best thing to note is that nowadays renovation is starting to get a little bit more costlier. Manpower has been an issue. So if you're looking to spend renovation of a 50k, you definitely would not see anything that you can get here. So let's start off from the foyer first. First thing you notice is that there is this corner of which is where your DB box is. They used a black team kind of mirror so that you can check yourself out. The good part is that sometimes the DB box can be a little bit shallow. But over here you can see that the depth, I think you can put like two rows of shoe if you have them. And if you didn't just notice, the lights also just came on on its own. If you just want to hop back home quickly and then you have some shoes, you can just put all of them at the bottom. It's easy for maintenance. We'll move on to the enclosed kitchen. Best part is that there is two rows of countertop over here. Definitely more than enough for you if you are into cooking. I think the best part is that, yes, we do call this like an enclosed kitchen, but there is flexibility for you to change it into like a bar counter over here. So half of this is already a glass panel. Still have some carpentry at the top. There is a basin, washer, fridge are all in place. You do have an induction cooker hook and hot together with your microwave oven. Now let's move to the dining area. They have placed in like a small table. The owners have fitted a study or workstation over here. But if let's say you're someone that needs a slightly bigger dining table, what you can do is just to bring down this entire carpentry and then change this to like a rectangular with a bench and then probably you can fit in like a six-seater.
So once you step into the living room, you will notice all this wallpaper that is around the entire house. There is also two AC that's already fitted, still in pristine condition. The whole flooring wise is more of a homogeneous, but it looks like a marble kind of tiles. So if you take a look at where I'm standing, distance wise, I think it's fair enough. You can still fit in like a 60 over inch kind of TV and still have like a three seater sofa on the opposite. So orientation wise, we are looking at mainly north. It's good because you don't need to worry about any morning or afternoon sun. But if let's say like you want added privacy, the owners have already fitted automated zip track for you. So they have also added on this composite timber, which not only helps with the aesthetic, but you will notice that because usually balcony will have a deep down before you can step out, kind of flushes all the way into the living room as well. So as you can see here, since we are inner facing, but we're actually at one of the top level. Now, if you're not looking for the loft units which is only on the top level then the next best would be where we are because we are the next highest level on the level 15. Before I bring you to the rest of the home, let me just share with you on the location at where we are. So in terms of connectivity, we have direct bus to Bukit Batok MRT Station. That's just 15 minutes or 4 bus stops down the road. From there, if you take one stop down, you will go to Jurong MRT Station. That's where you can find GEM, IMM and Westgate. So for those of you who drive, we can access to PIE followed by BKE. If you are heading towards town or Changi Airport, we are well connected by PIE. Within one kilometer, you have very popular Princess Elizabeth Primary, followed by Tazong Primary. Within two kilometers, you can find St. Anthony Primary, Bukit View Primary, and Yuhua Primary. Just around the corner, you also have an international school, Dewitch College. For a nature lover, definitely you can head down to Jurong Lake. That brings me to my next point. What is it in for you if you are going to be a resident here? With all the transformation that is happening in Jurong Lake District, there is going to be a new line called the Jurong Regional Line. That's actually really close to La Quest. Not forgetting like where we are located, this is actually the up and coming township of the next decade. Not only you have the upcoming EC, which is Altura, which is already like more or less all sort. There is also going to be up and coming EC called the Luminal Grant. Beyond that, that is the whole Tenga estate that they are already building. One of the news that everyone is really hyped up and really excited is the relocation of ACS that is going to be right over there. So right next to the dining, along the common corridor, that's where you can find your first common bathroom. This is likely where your guests or you are doing any hosting, this is where the friends are going to use. Condition is excellent. You still do have the towels all in pristine condition. You can find the WC, the sink and also a shower head and it's well equipped with a ventilator. When I first stepped in, I thought that this was an actual show flat because only show flat they will see this kind of a bunk bed system. So if you are a couple with two kids, this is likely where you will house both your kids. As a buyer, you want to take note of the fixtures that is going to stay within the home. Other than the two-door sliding wardrobe right at the corner, they also put in a lot of effort into storage spaces. So at the end of the bed, there's actually like drawers for the kids to put in more books. If let's say that you want to change this whole place into a fully functional bedroom, the width wise, you can definitely still fit in a queen size bed and this is how you do that. move on to the highlight of the place which is the master bedroom. So just to mention that the rooms are all lined up with the vinyl flooring so they are still in okay condition as well. Facing wise for all the room is actually the same as the living so it's a north orientation don't need to worry about any afternoon sun. So if you're inner facing there is one thing to note if let's say you're on the middle level maybe like seven or eight sometimes when you look up it's still your neighbor unless you're at the lower floor then maybe you can see the facilities. So I really appreciate the fact that we are one of the highest levels such that actually you can see more than 50% of your view is the sky. So what the owner have fitted in is a king size bed over here and the cove light really makes the whole ambience really cozy. They also have like a small TV console, that's where you can mount your TV. Right at the corner, you have two panels of wardrobe to put in all the clothes. Mm -hmm. 
at the corner is where you can find the attached bath. So size-wise, it's slightly bigger than the common bathroom. Condition is beautiful. You do have a carpentry filled up with almost full-length mirror. There is a sink, a WC together with your shower heat. So before we end this home tour, if you're looking for two bathers, let me share with you what are the other options that you can find here. So you have Region Heights TOP in 1999 with the asking price of $1 to $1.2 million. There's also Midaria that TOP in year 23 with the asking price of $1.45 million. Just right across, you can find Guiling View that TOP in year 2000 with the asking price of $1.5 million. So if you take a look at the map in our surrounding, actually there's no other resale condos for you to choose from. So unfortunately, the two up-and-coming EC, which is Altura and Lumina Grand, the minimum size that they are offering are free bather onwards. Because they are EC, there are a lot of criteria for you to fulfill because it's HDB ruling. Not only that, they're going to TOP in maybe year 2026 to year 2027. You still need to factor in that they need to fulfill five years of MOP before they can hit their resale market again. So what I'm trying to say here is that there is a potential for our two bather resale value to grow upwards. Why? Because number one, the three beta there, definitely there will be a demand from all the up and coming HDB and BTOs upgrader. Number two, this is going to be not just a five years forward planning. We have to take into account the construction that is taking place. So it's going to be 2026 plus another five years. That will be in 2032, I would say, before all this EC hits the market. So this unit is standing at 700 square feet. It features a two bed, two bar, fully renovated in a move-in condition. The asking price is only $1.25 million for to offer. So if you are a family or with one or two kids, I think this is going to be great for you. So last but not least, you also want to know the facilities that you have in La Quest. This condo has full facility. Why? Because there is a tennis court. What it means when you have a tennis court is that you will have your lap pool, playground, the barbecue pits, everything that you would want in a condo. So we have come to the end of this home tour. I hope that you enjoy the home tour as much as I do. If you're looking for a 100% move-in condition, this is nicely renovated in monochrome team. This features a two-bed, two-bath, standing at 700 square feet. We are right smack in the development of a future township right next to the EC Altura and Lumina Grand. If you'd like to arrange for a viewing, do contact myself or Christina or the description is down below in the box. Do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, as well as TikTok. Once again, my name is Chesley. Property Lim Brothers always happy to show you the place. Lim Brothers, today we are in district. District. <laughs> okay, really. Table because they have fitted in a study table at the top. At the top. <laughs>